Hello Scorpio and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be doing your tarot reading. So let's shuffle your cards and see what the cards have for say for you this week. Scorpio you too. Because Scorpio. What information do you have for Scorpio this week? Scorpio you too. Let's see. Okay, I'm also going to be pulling one of these cards as well. For you, this is for something that you need to hear. Something you need to hear this week. You may already know what it is you need to hear, but it may be, you may be hiding it from yourself. So what is something that you need to hear? Or something you need to hear? You have let go and bury. Let go and bury. Let go and bury. Whatever you've been holding on to, whatever it's been grasping you tightly, it's time it's time for you to uh, it's time for you to bury it. The bury bury those old emotions. Bury your troubles. Let bygones be bygones. Let stuff go. Let stuff go. And, and, and if you let it go and bury it, you will see the light. You know, there's a coffin here. There, there is a coffin here. So bury it. Put it. Put something. Put something or someone in their place and let go. Let go of it and bury it and move on. Don't be holding on to. Don't be holding on to grudges. Don't be holding on to stale energy. Just bury it and move on. It's easier said than done, I know. This is something that you need to hear. You, let, you need to get let go and let something be buried. You need to bury those old emotions, those old feelings. Alright, so let's see what the tarot cards say for you today. I already did this, didn't I shuffle these already? I think so. Alright, well, excuse me. <coughs> Okay, you have the wonderful Ten of Pentacles here for your very first card this week. This is all about ancestors, the Tree of Life. If you look at the way the shapes of this, these uh, pentacles are, it's kind of like the, the Tree of Life, the way the pentacles are arranged on the card. You have your faithful, honest, true self, representing by the white, honest dog, loyal dog. You have the older person here. We have dogs over here. So, have the older person here, full of wisdom and knowledge. Gray, white hair, red coat, passion, honesty, uh, authority. Then you have the young couple over here. You have the young couple over here. And you have your house. You have your, perhaps uh, you lived in a high rise at one time. You know, and then there's there's your grandma's or your grandparents' uh, home, or even your parents' home, or your home here. That perhaps you, where is it? I'm pointing the wrong way. Oh, there's houses over here. There's houses over here as well. So this is just a ancestors are coming through to you. Your ancestors are coming through to you. And. Uh, one. They're bringing you a message. They're bringing you a message that life is everlasting. That life goes on, and life does go on. So if you're feeling down about anything, uh, they're they're coming through, and they're coming through and telling you that life goes on. It's a revolving, you know, it's a revolving, ongoing. Life's ongoing. Life is ongoing. It's also a ten. This card is also a 10, which means there's a completion. It's been a completion, but life is not ever going. So you may be having, you may be feeling a little down, or maybe you're rejoicing even, you know, that something, something in your life has ended, but it's okay. It's all right, because life is ever going, everlasting. What card did we have? Bury and let it go. Let go and bury it. Yeah. Life's everlasting. Let go and bury it. Don't, don't, don't. Uh, yeah, don't, don't worry about 
don't worry about things that you can't change, in other words, this week. Ace of Wands is popping through. Ace of Wands is here for, um, there's new growth. Something new is coming into you, coming in for you. There's growth in, in this new in this newness that's coming to you, there's some type of growth. So either you're growing, you're growing as a person, uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. That's all I'm getting from this card is just, you're growing as a person. Queen of Cups is now coming through, Scorpio. She's also gazing at this cup full of emotions and love. Cups are all full of emotions and love. Passion of something. She's staring, in, she's staring into this passion, into this love. She's really gazing into it uh, pretty deeply here on this card. It's coming as though she's, you're trying to understand, you're trying to grasp something, you're trying to understand something. And you're having, the emotions here are, are starting, are being contained. You're, you're containing your emotions. Something new is trying to come in. You're containing your emotions on this. You're not letting your emotions flow go. All right, you gotta let your emotions come out sometimes. If you don't let go, if you don't let go of those emotions, like this card, if you don't, if you don't let go of them, they're gonna build up and build up. Well, here's the ancestors, the tree of life here. Emotions can run rampant, you know. And uh, she has little cherubs on her on her throne as well. These little angels, these little cherub angels. Your ancestors, your ancestors, and these angels, and this this queen is representing you and telling you to let go of the let go of the sad let go of the sad emotions and and bury it down and bury it. The new beginning wants to form. A new beginning wants to sprout. Mm -hmm. And there you are. Here's here. Here's the beautiful rainbow. Here's the beautiful rainbow now. You're rejoicing. The art. Your arms on this couple down here are up. Are up to to the sky. You know, giving thanks and having gratitude. And enjoying themselves, they're enjoying themselves again. You're enjoying yourself again. Wants to. This is really strong position here. It's coming in. It's telling you that that your ancestors from this card here wants you to want you to feel the feel the love and, and enjoy the beautifulness of a rainbow. You know, when you see a rainbow, no matter what your age is, it makes you smile. Rainbows make people smile, and. Uh, You know, you've got little children down here playing and playing out in the yard. A beautiful house, their rainbow. I mean, this is just a beautiful scenario of a card. It's also a number 10 as well. Well, letting you know that this emo letting you know that this these emotions this queen is holding is, is coming to an end. She's the queen of cups, for heaven's sakes. Here you have ten cups. Here's all her cups now. These, all the emotions were set free and let go. The rainbow has formed now. Right? When it rains and it sunshines, it makes a rainbow. You're holding on to your emotions. Holding on to your emotions. You can make a storm inside yourself. The sun has shown now.
the Page of Cups. Here's the Page of Cups now. Youthfulness, youthfulness, joyfulness, playfulness. Then has a little fish coming out of that cup saying, Oh, if I only, you know, it's like as if it was a wish. You know, she's even looking at this cup. The queen's even looking at this, that giant cup as though it's a crystal ball. She's making wishes and hopes and dreams. She contained all the contained all those sad memories or whatever kind of what kind of uh you know whatever this emotions are I mean memories okay I said in memories but take it as you see it how it reflects to you and uh, you know here's a you know this like I was saying young youthfulness it's a circle of life here circle of life if you don't you don't always need to act your age. You know, if you want to be playful, if you want to be playful and you want to be playful again, enjoy the rainbows. Make a wish, make a wish on these loving cups. Because you do have the, you do have the beautiful queen. There is a person in your life, if you're having troubles here, if you're having any issues, there is a person, this queen is representing a, a, an older person here. That is a very good listener. Very good listener. And will listen to you and won't gossip about it. She won't gossip about it. There is someone in your life, if you need to talk to someone about about uh, any emotional troubles that you that you need to bury, you know, you need to bury and let go. Let it go. I'm going to read what's in this book uh, for this card here to bury it. Just to get a better uh, scenario, a better story here for you. It's card number 17. Do -do. It's a scorpion fly. <laughs> the scorpion fly. All right, Scorpio. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to read the whole. Uh, I'm going to read the whole thing here for you. Scorpion fly is the first on the scene when there is a corpse. When scorpion fly appears in your reading, it is a sign that there is something outmoded that no longer serves you. It's not what we were. It's what we were talking about. It's exactly what we were. I was saying, when we hold on to something that has died, we cannot return the energy it once had. Instead, it takes on a different kind of life. Maggots begin to lay eggs. The bacteria takes over the decomposing process, and a new life has a rancid smell. What thing or belief are you holding on to that no longer fulfills your purpose? What do you need to let go of? and finally bury in the dirt. When we give a proper burial and a goodbye to what no longer serves us, it allows the natural process of decomposition to happen. See, like I was saying now, here's that beautiful rainbow. Gotta let it go, right? There's the rainbow. It is though this letting go that something unexpected and beautiful can germinate, right? In burying what does not serve you, you create a space for something more profound to grow. You become stronger by weeding through what is no longer contributing to your growth. Scorpion Fly Medicine shares that a new development, bingo, new development, here you go. Ace, new beginnings. A new development is waiting to blossom, but you must first sacrifice and bury the unneeded that is taking up space. Trash the old and outdated. Okay? So that is your message, and uh, you have a great day. Bye now.